Hi folks, it's Mark Smith with Family Tree Life Coaching. I have what I think is going to be an awesome video. The title is How to Find the Real Thing, a Mature Interdependent Partnership. I think that's what everybody wants is a lifelong partner where there's not too much pain, where there's um, great communication, and um, it's healthy, and it, it causes you to thrive instead of uh, uh, tearing down your defenses and making you totally freaking miserable. Obviously, people want that, um, uh, but you don't find it as the writing will uh, I get into will share I don't know who wrote this I think it was a young person uh, I found it on Facebook they used the words gangsta and something was dope and my lady is a queen that sounded that sounded like a young person I found it on a website called seniors detox fitness health and longevity uh, I'm almost 62, so I signed up for that. Um, it was put on uh, for their Facebook page by a Carlene Weaver. So that's all I know about the author. I've I've altered the writing to where about 50% of it is my writing, but it was inspired by this unknown writer who I think is a young younger person. So uh, uh, I just got to tell you. Uh, I've been blessed all these years for the past 16 years I've been busting my butt to get healthy and a lot of the ways that you get healthy is to be in relationships that are similar to the one that you grew up in and um, uh, I've been blessed to be in a genuinely healthy mature interdependent relationship and it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of stability and it's a lot of joy uh, I'm so happy I gotta pinch myself every day I gotta tell you and I'm thriving y'all wonder uh, is this really Mark Smith because he's not wearing a black shirt black t-shirt it's really me uh, uh, one of the problems though is uh, my girlfriend uh, is such an amazing cook that uh, she's made me fat <laughs> I, I think I've made me fat her. Um, but I'll work on that. But um, this is about how to find the real thing, um, how to find a healthy relationship. And most of the, the ideas behind of it, uh, may, maybe 75% of the kernels of the concepts come from this uh, brilliant, I think, young writer. But here we go. <clears throat> I didn't find love. I am slowly building love. I didn't go out and locate for myself an interdependent partner. I found myself. You know, in a world of external stimulation, uh, a world of external validation and really unprecedented world of external unrest the most profound and divine coupleship preparation work that you can do is all internal it's all within yourself I didn't find my better half I became a more whole whole and the coolest part of this is my beautiful new partner wonderful new partner she did the same thing um, she became whole she went all in not on me, but on herself. Then our paths crossed, and it was pretty much a done deal. 
we didn't need to sell each other and frankly time is rather irrelevant because you don't need to date for years and years to know what you need is exact and specific evidentiary moments to clearly see that this is exactly what you have envisioned and it and exactly what you have purposefully built I don't need her I want her I don't need her to thrive I'm gonna thrive anywho I don't need her to be happy I'm already extremely happy just within myself she doesn't need me to be happy she doesn't need me to rescue her she's an independent creative thriving joyful champion without me needing to do anything for her there is no finding someone to complete us there is only 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 completing ourselves then joining forces with another soul who just happens to be on the same or a very similar journey that we're on so quit looking for the real thing uh, <laughs> abide dude and just slowly become the real thing yourself become interdependent quit looking for somebody to show you something genuine and healthy become wise become non-reactive differentiated patient objective healthy and grounded and only then will you provide the safety and the maturity to genuinely see deeply into another person's soul your own work qualifies you to be safe enough and deep enough to see into another person's deepest parts that is genuine love you know what it's painful and sometimes the work is brutal um, sometimes the work is even torturous uh, I've had a client the other day said he thinks uh, love should be easy well I wish it was but it's a lie it's it's simply not the truth love is not something that's easy it's painful brutal hard uh, work yeah where there's untold blood sweat and tears uh, you want to be in a healthy relationship then you got to have a lot of courage and you got to work your butt off and you got to be willing to feel pain that's the price of the real thing that's the price of a mature interdependent partnership so man up woman up don't quit when it gets wickedly painful and it will become wickedly painful I said don't quit when it gets really hard uh, about the only issue a uh, girlfriend and I've had is uh, uh, every now and again uh, dealing with a knucklehead like me she she wants she gets the mind that it's, it's time to quit and uh, it really isn't and it don't last long but don't quit if, if you're committed to yourself to do the work and you're blessed to be with somebody who's able to do the work don't quit uh, a line from a famous baseball movie field of dreams if you build it they will come so if you build yourself as an interdependent person um, when you're ready you know they'll show up so do the inner work on yourself and your unresolved issues from your family of origin that's what this is about uh, it's not about finding somebody cool or somebody beautiful or somebody cute or somebody successful it's about healing the wounds of your own childhood um, and when you're ready when you're healthy enough 
uh, just let the game come naturally to you. Don't force it. You know, don't get on a dating site for God's sake. Your teacher will appear when the student is ready. And if you're in a relationship, you are each other's teacher. So get to work and build yourself up strong and sturdy and deep and filled with joy and filled with creativity and confidence and big dreams and yearning and passion and great sex and a solid uh, commitment to always, 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 always be in integrity with yourself and always be authentic. So relax, abide, abide, dude, while you build yourself and your very own dream maker will come true. Um, I'm going to read this again and commentate on it. I just mainly read it, and I got a lot to say about it. But this is gold, folks. Uh, you're out there. You say you've been narcissistically abused. Okay. Why? Why'd you pick a narcissist? That's the question. Quit studying narcissism for dear, dear God, please. You know enough about narcissism. Let's fix the only person you have any chance of fixing, and that's your own self. Um, I didn't find love. I didn't get lucky. Luck has nothing to do with it. Uh, but I am slowly building this uh, mature, interdependent partnership. gets better every day. Um, I didn't find myself an interdependent partner. The main thing is I found myself. Um, about a year ago, I started working uh, with a, a therapist in our practice named Steve Cooper, and he taught me how to stop being such a baby, how to stop being stuck in my inner child. And I have grown up, and when I grew up, um, I took hold of my life, and I made things happen, good things, wonderful things, successful things. I found myself, I built myself in a world of external stimulation like video games and cell phones and internet, uh, in a world of external validation, uh, in an unprecedented a world of external unrest uh, between the pandemic and all of the racial unrest, the political unrest. Thank God we have a good president in office instead of a narcissist. If you don't like my politics, that's tough. The guy was, you, everybody on the planet knows the guy's a narcissist. And it was a bad presidency, and it harmed people. Thank God we got a, we got a good man in office. Um, but it's been a lot of unrest. And now, especially in Ohio and Indiana uh, and certain other parts of the country, um, we're going to have billions of cicadas um, uh, uh, flying around the planet. And... Um, harassing us it'll it'll feel like armageddon you know pestilence uh you'll be riding your bicycle and you'll be swarmed i hope you don't have long hair because you're going to be be swarmed by cicadas in certain parts of the country i don't think i'm going to get to ride my motorcycle or my convertible uh until august sometime it's going to last a couple of months why all this external unrest it is what it is but the most profound uh, coupleship preparation work that you can do all of it's internal you don't you don't go to marriage counseling or couples counseling 
and build a relationship. Uh, I tell people I don't believe in marriage counseling. I don't believe in couples counseling. You can come together. I like it when you come together. But we are going to be working on healing your family of origin wounds, healing, uh, finding out the truth about you and getting you working on yourself. When you work on yourself and heal yourself, the relationship stuff will take care of itself. I didn't find my better half. I became a healthier whole myself. And the coolest thing is my beautiful new partner did the same thing. She went all in, not on me. She went all in on herself. That's the cool thing. Then our paths crossed, and it was pretty much a done deal. We didn't need to sell each other, and frankly, time isn't all that important. Uh, you don't need to date for years and years and years. If you meet an interdependent person, and you're an interdependent person, um, it's not batshit crazy like most relationships are. There's there's very little crazy in it, and there's a lot of stability and a lot of non-reactive hearing of each other and communication. Um, what you need is very exact and uh, specific evidence uh, that helps you to clearly see what's going on, that this actually is exactly what you've envisioned. And it's exactly what you have purposely created for yourself. Luck has nothing to do with it. Uh, finding the right person has nothing to do with it. Um, finding yourself and creating that vision um, for a genuinely healthy relationship has everything to do about it if you can, ses can successfully do the work on yourself. I don't, I don't need her. Steve Cooper taught me this. I want her, but I don't need her to be happy. I'm already happy, extremely happy within myself just because every aspect of my life is blessed. Um, and she doesn't need me. And she doesn't need me to rescue her because she's an uh, independent, creative, thriving, joyful champion without me needing to do anything for her. I think she'd like me to do some things with her and for her, but she, she's not dependent on it. There is no finding someone to complete us. There's only completing ourselves. That's what the work is. What's the work? Being in batshit crazy relationships and, and going through pain and seeing how that is similar to the wounds that you went through as a child. There are no victims in relationships, and frankly, there are no bad guys. There are people that you recruit that you end up, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, being in a relationship with to do your own work. But um, uh, it's work that is painful. But eventually, I've been working on myself for the past 16 years to be able to be in a shape myself to be interdependent. And I finally have got to that point, and it's marvelous, and it's fabulous. It's fantastic. So complete yourself and then join forces with another soul who just happens to be on the same journey or a very similar journey as you are. So quit looking for a mature interdependent partnership. If, you, if you're not ready and you look for it, you may think you find it and then you find out um, the person is a little kid. They're, they're uh, a liar, a cheater, an addict somebody who is too defensive, somebody who has out of control abandonment issues, somebody who has shame, and they're simply not healthy enough to be mature. You're dealing with a little kid. Um, abide. I went out to a restaurant last night, uh, a, um, uh, a Belgian uh, restaurant, 
And on the wall, uh, one of the there was actually little screens in between tables, and it said "Abide, dude." And I think that was a, a Jeff Bridges quote in The Big Lebowski. Abide, dude. So I wanted to work it into this. So uh, abide, abide, dude, and sh slowly become an interdependent person. Just chill. Work on yourself. Quit looking. Quit looking for somebody to show you something genuine and something healthy. Become someone wise. Become somebody courageous who has enough caution but not too much fear. Become a differentiated person. Become patient with the foibles of another person without getting reactive. Learn how to be more object objective in a relationship. Learn how to hear feedback without getting defensive. Become healthy and grounded and only then Will you create an environment in the relationship where you have the maturity and the safety to genuinely see into another person's soul, you know, without judgment, uh, without shaming them, um, they'll feel safe and you can see into their soul and you won't judge them. Um, that's genuine love, mature love. You know what? It's painful at times, and it's torturous, brutal, hard work at times, and there will be untold blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, I had a guy this week that said, that he thinks relationships should be easy. Bullshit. That ain't going to happen. Uh, and it is never easy. Uh, if, if you anything in life that's worth anything... If you're going to be a champion in anything, it's going to hurt you. It's going to cost you. You're going to have to work your butt off. You're going to have to go through pain, whether you want to be a, a Tom Brady or whether you want to be a great writer or, uh, you know, whatever you want to do that's unique and special in the world. You're going to have to work hard, and it's going to it involves some sacrifice and some pain. Um, that's the price of the real thing. Um, that's the price of having a mature, interdependent relationship. So you need to man up, uh, men, and you need to woman up, ladies, um, uh, and you need to not quit when it gets hard. Because it will get hard. It is hard. But if you turn around and want to quit every time it gets hard, you're going to abort the relationship before it really gets momentum and gets grounded and solid. So don't quit when it gets wickedly uh, painful because it will become wickedly painful. Um, people come in and they act like you're going to find a perfect man. Every man I've ever met is a knucklehead in some part of his life, in some area of his life. I've never met a man who was perfect. I've never met a man who wasn't an irresponsible little boy in at least some area of his life, usually several. So quit trying to find Mr. Perfect. Busy yourself with becoming healthy uh, yourself. Um, there's this saying uh, uh, from a uh, old movie, The Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. And if you build yourself and become an interdependent person, then your partner will show up at the right time and place. So busy yourself with doing the inner work on yourself and your unresolved family of origin issues. That's what my whole life work has been about. Somebody comes in and they're in a relationship, they're in a marriage, and I tell them, you don't have a marriage problem. You've got a childhood problem, and we got to figure out who your parents were, who your grandparents were, and how that made you into who you are, and that how that made you marry who you marry. That's the work. And then heal that. 
then we can do some business and take care of getting healthier. Do the inner work on yourself. You know the person that you have the only shot at getting healthy is yourself. And um, when you're ready, let the game come to you. Michael Jordan, many times, he, he, he would hardly shoot in the first half. And he's, he's trying to get his teammates involved. And the, the uh, halftime uh, interviewer pulls him off the court as he's headed to the locker room. Says, Mike, Michael, you only got six points. You only shot the ball twice. What's up? He goes, I'm just letting the game come to me. I'm just waiting around to get in the flow, let the game come to me. And then he goes for 40 in the second half. You know, he wasn't trying to make it happen. It happened when it was going to happen. So quit trying to make relationships happen if you force it. If Michael Jordan forced that first half, they probably would have lost the game. You got to get into a flow. You got to wait for a divine appointment. And don't force it. Just let the game come naturally to you. If you're ready, it'll be time to uh, meet somebody and you'll recognize them when they get there. Uh, your teacher will appear when the student is ready. And if you're in a healthy relationship, you're both teachers and you're both students. So get to work and build yourself. Build yourself strong and sturdy with depth and be naturally filled with joy, filled with creativity. Uh, the chance to be creative and unorthodox and wild and untamed and color outside the box and grab hold of your life and make it you know what you want it to be is unprecedented and it's unlimited um, so get wild with getting creative um, have confidence have big dreams have yearning and passion and great sex and a rock solid commitment to always 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 be in your integrity and always tell the truth and always be fully authentic that's a phrase I love be in your integrity always tell the truth and always be fully authentic so relax let the game come to you abide and while you build yourself, uh, then that dream maker, that special person uh, will come to you. And I've, I've experienced it myself. And uh, it's funny. Uh, I get around my friends and my family. I tell them, this is it. And I found my life partner. And they look at me like I'm an idiot. You guys might be looking at me like I'm an idiot, as far as I know. But um, you watch and see, this, this one's different than anything I've ever been in. And it's uh, recovery really works. It just works really slow. You know, if, if you were damaged profoundly as a child, then it takes a while. But uh, this summer, my family's going to have an opportunity uh, to meet this uh, wonderful partner of mine. And they'll be they'll be blown away. They'll be impressed because she brings a lot to the table, and she's she's very special. And she exudes goodness and healthiness. And that's not because I got lucky. It's because she and I have both done the work. So um, I hope this spoke to you. There is hope. Um, you can build a healthy relationship. But be careful. Keep your eyes open. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, don't think the first relationship that you get in after a long, broken marriage is going to be something that's easy and going to be a lifelong, you know, source of joy and unending happiness. That ain't going to happen. Um, whoever you're going to be with, you're going to have to suffer. And you're going to have to go through pain. And you're both going to feel like quitting. 
and it's going to feel like, wow, I thought this was the right one, but but maybe it's not. Just keep working. Keep working on what? Yourself. And find joy within yourself. And don't be so sensitive and don't be, you know, uh, uh, easily offended and don't be um, easily angered. And um, you'll have the patience to uh, build a solid relationship from the ground up. I wish that for you, my friends. Thank you for watching today. You haven't joined our channel, do so. I know our channel hasn't been very busy. I just been I just been living and thriving, and uh, I just haven't had a chance to put much energy into it. But I haven't forgot you people, and I haven't forgot my calling. And in the future, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of videos and doing a whole lot of teaching. Um, because I'm I'm in the process of resurrecting uh, Family Tree Counseling Associates, and I've got some amazing people. Um, <clears throat> we have a, a guy named Vernon Billets, and he's he's brilliant, and he's young, and he's hungry, and he's going full time in about a month at Family Tree, um, and I highly re recommend him. And his fee's only a hundred dollars, and for somebody in private practice, that's really low. And I supervise him and take a look at his genograms and giving feedback. Um, as the years go on, me being sixty-two, I'm going to see less and less clients, um, but I'm going to build an army of life coaches and an army of therapists who work the family tree way who work in an effective way and um, I'll be able to provide you with somebody that's trained to do things very much like I do things. We're not there yet. I still am taking clients but I don't have a lot of room in my schedule and I, I, uh, I keep raising my feet to make myself less available but people keep coming because people are hungry for something that works. People are hungry for the real thing and you get the real thing not only in your day-to-day -day living but you also get it from a great therapist but go to our website familytreecounseling.com check out Vernon Billups and uh, contact him tell him Mark said I think he's brilliant and that you want to see him so thank you for watching today I enjoyed this and God bless